Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to navigate in my class in Blackboard. So when you log into the Blackboard, you should be able to see this page. So make sure you know there are one, two, three, four, or five buttons on the top right. These buttons are very important. The first button over here is the main button. It have all the course content, eh, including the materials, syllabus, assignment, lab, ex experiment, quizzes, and also the test exams. So we're going to start with this button, okay? Now, if you want to do assignments, lab experiment, uh, discussion board, quiz, and test, okay, go to this area. Remember, this class is divided into two modules. The first module, you have to finish it in the half of the semester or in the half of the term okay so click this module one button okay and then you will see all the contents the lecture materials powerpoints study guides will be here if you want to take assignment then you have to click this module one lecture assignment Okay, when you click it, then there are some assignment that you have to finish it in the half semester or in the half term. Okay, there are eight assignment over here. They they already they all already available so uh, to you know for you to take it. Okay? Uh, you click this. If you click this, then it will take you to the McGraw Hill Connect Access. So make sure you already register to the Connect Access. Okay. Now, if you want to do lab experiment, then click the Module One Lab Ex Experiment. Okay. So in the Module One, there are ten lab experiment that you have to do on the half semester. Okay, before going to the, the next uh, half semester or half term. When you click it, then again, it will take you to the Connect Access, Macro Hill Connect Access. So make sure you have the uh, Connect Access. Okay, you register for the Connect Access. I will show you later how to do the or register to the Connect Access. Now, if you click this, discussion board and the module one okay in the half semester or the half term there are two discussion board and this desk and discussion board only available during the week prescribed so make sure you have your weekly schedule print out to know when the discussion board one available and when it is due the same thing with the discussion board two Discussion board 2 will be available after discussion board 1 gone. So make sure you finish discussion board 1. Uh, if you miss it, you will get 0. Okay. If you want to take tests, quizzes, uh, exam, it will be here. Module 1, quizzes and tests. Just click that. Okay. Then... There are several tests, quizzes, and exam. Some of them already available. Okay, like for example, the first week login test, YouTube feature lecture, uh, already available. So you can take it now. Okay, you can take it right away. If you want to take it, just click it, and then it will take you the to the test page. Okay, let's say. Uh, I'm going to take this YouTube feature lecture. I click this. Okay. It will bring me to this 
uh, place and then if you want to take it you have to click view assignment okay and then the question will be pop out yeah there is only one question for this test this is the question read the question carefully okay and then answer your uh, put your answer here you can type it here okay so let's for example i'll type my answer okay so answer that question correctly so my answer after that Okay, after you finish, click that. Okay, then go out from that box and click submit. Then it will ask you again, do you want to really submit it? Then click submit. You done okay, with that test. Okay. Uh, you only need one attempt for this test. If you already done one attempt, then you don't have to do the next attempt. Only one attempt that, you know, uh, I will give the score after that attempt. Okay, you can close that. Okay. For this, okay, if you see this chain picture, this means that this test is available through Macro Hill Connect. So when you click it, then it will take you to the Macro Hill Access, okay, Connect Access. So make sure again you have to the uh, you have your Connect Access to the uh, Connect side. And for this test, the pre-test and all the tests after that, it will be proctored. It means that you have to have a uh, webcam uh, and you have to do it in uh, Google Chrome browser eh? because this test uh, which is Proctorio test is it cannot be done with the Mozilla okay so make sure you have the uh, Google Chrome browser to take this test the pretest quizzes and all the other exam okay that's the place for taking the test okay now after we finish with half of the semester with the module one then the module one will gone will be gone so you cannot go back to the module one if you do not do module one it is very likely you will fail the class okay because module one is almost half of the materials the grade for this class so after finish with module one then you know after the break like maybe spring break or fall break or if it is summer class after four week then the fifth weeks will be ready for module two so and then you click the module two you do the same thing you know if you want to take the test click the test quizzes if you want to do the assignment yeah click assignment if you want to do lab experiment then click the lab experiment button if you want to answer the discussion board then click the discussion board buttons okay so that's the place or the uh, a folder for assignment, lab experiment, discussion board, and the test, exam, quiz, and etc. Okay. Now, after uh, the next button that also important for you is this fourth button over here, which is grade book. So this is the grade book button. If you click it, okay it will take you to your grade book then you will see what grade do you have so this is my grade okay i get uh, so far i have a plus okay but remember this a plus or whatever b or c can be increased or decreased depend on the next 
assignment or test or quizzes that you have whether higher or lower score okay so just remember this current grade over here is not your final grade it will be up and down okay depend on what you get on the next assignment or on the next exam lab experiment and etc okay over here you should be able to see all the uh, things that has been graded so like for example uh, i already get grade for my first week login test and also you know i usually give you note okay? so note what uh, what what you get and then how much you get on if there is a notification okay uh, uh, whether your answer is correct or wrong it will be here okay? so you click this to see what is the notification okay Okay, and then click this. Yeah, this is the feedback that I get from the instructor. So the instructor said, you get maximum 15 extra points. So I, I get all the 15 extra points for this login test. If you get less than that, for example, maybe 12, or 13 then that should be there will be explanation for that why you get only 13 or 12 okay so make sure you click the feedback or notification to see whether you answer that correctly or incorrectly if it is incorrectly then there will be explanation okay and close that one Okay, so see, I already get the grade for first login test. I get the YouTube test. Okay, zero over here is mean that this is extra bonus point. Okay, so if you get, you answer the question, then you might get some point. Okay, like for the login test, maximum is 15 point. You might get 15, 10, 13 out of zero. Okay, it's mean that it's bonus point. Okay, this is also... The pretest also bonus point. I already get the uh, point or score for that. For the assignment, okay, this is the one that you have to do through the connect access. If you get all, you get, you answer all correctly, then you're gonna get 25 out of 25. Okay, it's gonna be green color. If you only half, then maybe you only get 12. Then the color will be red. Okay. So this is for assignment. So if you do all your assignment, then you will have grade. If you have not done any assignment, then they're all going to be empty like this. At the end, okay, if you do not do this assignment, then I will put zero on it. All going to be red. So make sure you check the do that for each assignment and then do that assignment submit that assignment before their due dates okay i'm gonna show you the the other one that already get the lab experiment yeah experiment lab experiment one okay i already got the score also from the instructor and the discussion board one okay i already answered discussion board one for discussion board to get maximum 25 out of 25 you have to post at least four posting okay four posting at least the first posting will be the initial yeah the answer of this initial question like for example this discussion board one there are two questions over it okay so make sure you answer these two questions, okay, by typing your answer over here, okay, blah, 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 okay, answer number one, answer number two, okay. If you answer that, then you will get the point for the initial answer of the question, okay. And then after that, okay, you check again the discussion board, and then if you see 
some of your friend already answer the discussion board then you can post a comment okay to their uh, answer you can give comment okay? uh, that's gonna be the second post and then the third post maybe you also give a comment to another student or maybe yeah if some student give comment to your discussion board then you can reply okay reply that comment that's become your third post or fourth posting so at least four posting to get maximum 25 point for discussion board and then after i you know the instructor grade your discussion board you can check okay, what you get like for example the instructor give me 25 out of 25 so it's mean that i answer all the question and also i give comment and reply to other student okay if you click this then it will show you what you get so like for answer the initial question maximum will be 25 uh, 12 out uh, 0.5 so if you get 12.5 it means that your answer is correct okay, for this initial question and then reference and citation so if you, you know, when you answer this question you also need to put references at least three references of course the first references is from the textbook that you have okay so the textbook will be the first reference and then you can have another references from Websites, you know, browse the website that related to this question. Maybe two of them. Then you put that as a references. So if you have three references, then you will get 2.5 point maximum. Okay, for three references. If you have only one, then maybe only one point over here. Okay, and this particip uh, participation is for your posting on comment and replay. If you give comment uh, and reply comment uh, at least three posting over here, okay, then you will get five. Plus, you will also get another five from this clarity and mechanics. This is also for your comment and reply. If you have a very good comment, very good reply, then you get five points. So, ten point over here is for the next posting after the initial answer okay so this is this is the first posting okay initial answer eh, will be uh, 12.5 12 plus 2.5 so this is 15 point over here if you have the the other three posting okay for comments and reply then you get another 10 point total 25 but if you do not have the comment and replay okay reply then you only get maximum of 15 so 15 out of 25 okay so again make sure for discussion board you have at least four uh, posting okay that's for the discussion board Again, discussion board will be available based on the prescribed week. Okay, make sure you have the weekly assignments print out. Okay, that what I get. So the rest over here, uh, you know, the because all of them basically is not available yet. So I cannot take it. But when it is available, you can take it. And whenever you finish taking this. Uh, exam or quizzes you will get the point automatically eh? whether you get 100 out of 100 eh, for this exam or maybe uh, 10 out of 10 for this quiz eh? the last score over here is the attendance or login activity uh, the instructor will give you the point you know after uh, close to the end of the semester okay so the final week of the semester or the final week of the term then the instructor will give you the score for this if you 
never miss any assignment, never miss any quizzes, discussion board, then you will get 50 out of 50. So you get 100%. But if you miss one or two or three assignment, then your attendance login activities will be less than 50. Okay, so make sure never miss any assignment, any quiz, any discussion board, any test, any lab report in order to get maximum 50 out of 50 point on the attendance. So that's the grade book. So make sure you check the grade book at least every time you finish with assignment or you finish with taking the test or at least every week. Okay? So the do that for assignment, lab experiment, quizzes, and extra usually on uh, Sunday night. So on Monday morning, okay, you make sure you check your grade book to know whether you already get the score for your assignment, discussion board, test, uh, lab experiment, and etc. Okay. So we go back to this button okay the main button okay. i want to show you another thing that at least you have to do okay before really going to or taking the assignment the test etc which is this button okay the getting started button so when you log in the first time you log in to the blackboard make sure you click this getting started button over here there is a document that the instructor put uh, which is document on how to be successful in this class so make sure you click it you can print it out okay it's gonna be in the pdf file you can print it out read it carefully and know what is the instruction on this document okay and then after you read that document, then there is a guide uh, help for how to use the blackboard. Already, actually, you know, uh, the one that I give you right now is uh, really important for you to navigate in the blackboard. Okay. This is the, if you click this button, this is show you how to uh, connect how to register to the connect access so this is the, f the the first thing that you have to do yeah before doing the assignment because without reg registration to the connect then you will not be able to do assignment lab experiment take quiz uh, exam and test okay so you have to register first there will be video over here and also some information how to register to the connect access. After you register, then you will be able to go to the McGraw Hill Connect. Over there, you can access the ebook. So the ebook will be available after you register. So you don't actually you don't have to buy the textbook because the ebook is the same as the textbook but you have it in the uh, computer through this connect access okay so make sure you register when you register yeah, it actually will ask you the email the email address so i suggest you to use the kctcs email address for your registration okay so use the KCTCS email address for connect access registration. Okay, this is the same thing, the document about the website. Okay. Now this is the information. If you click this button, it's the information how to access the ebook. Again, you have to do it okay, after you register to the connect access. So make sure you register first. And then if you click this one, it will show you how to go to the ebook, how to access the ebook. This is information how to do the lecture assignment. There will be video over here, how to do the uh, assignment. Okay. And this is the requirement for proctor exam. 
proctorial so what kind of computer or laptop that you need uh, whether you need the webcam or not and whether you have a correct installations uh, in your computer or not okay and also whether you have the google chrome browser or not then this one over here the next button if you have issue with proctorio with the proctor exam then there are some uh, troubleshooting over here and also there are some information how to contact the proctorio staff and you can also have a live chatting okay, with uh, someone from uh, proctorio test okay they will help you to uh, solve the problem okay so this is another troubleshooting for proctorio you can also email me but usually i will not be able to help you with the proctorio problem with the problem with the uh, your computer usually the staff from proctorio and McGraw hill connect will be able to help you with these issues Okay. okay, so that's the getting started. Okay, the contents in the getting started. Okay, over here under the getting started, uh, I also put my office hour. Okay, you actually can meet with me uh, live via online. Okay, so via uh, Blackboard Ultra collaboration. Okay, so if you want to do it, I will be available uh, on Tuesday 12 until 2 p.m. So you can email me if you want to meet one-on-one -on -one using this uh, Blackboard Ultra Collaborate, which is live uh, discussion or live lecture. Okay, you can uh, ask me to do that. You can request to have a meeting with me. The, this button over here, uh, course overview, uh, if you click it, then you will find information regarding the course, okay, the overview, okay, what you're going to learn, the outline will be here. And then course instructor, it will give you information about the instructor. It will also uh, see uh, his video introduction. Uh, his uh, office hour will be here and also his email address and phone number okay so if you click this then you will find the information about the instructor and then this is course syllabus so if you click it then you will find the syllabus in pdf file so make sure you click it okay? so like you click this and then download eh? download original file it will download the pdf file to your computer you can save it in your computer and also you can print it out okay so that's for syllabus under the syllabus you have this okay the button for course weekly schedule and do that this is the one that is really really important for you to print out and then keep it handy with you uh, because this has all the information regarding the assignment lab experiment quizzes uh, discussion board uh, so click that and then click download the file it will download it yeah, download into your computer if you open it okay, then it will bring you to the schedule okay so make sure you see the frame uh, time frame over here so this week one okay this this course is actually this class will start officially on june 1st so june 1st until june 6th gonna be considered as the fixed the week one 
and these are the assignment that you have to do so make sure you click the assignment you finish this assignment but just for information all the eight assignment over here until week four already available right? you can you can do it you can submit it uh, long before their due date which is june 27 so you can do this you have time you can do all of them you can finish all of them okay for assignment one until eight you can finish all of them uh, before june 27 right? and then look at the lab experiment lab experiment one until ten uh, also will be due on june 27 again you can finish all of them Right, within one week or two weeks okay i just give you this you okay, put this in the list in order to make sure uh, if you do it one by one then do this in week one week two week three and then finish it in the week four but if you finish it all of them in the first week the second week that's okay that's no problem uh, they are already available okay all the 10 lab experiment Discussion board. Okay? Discussion board one is available. It is due on June 13, 11 p.m. So you have to do it between this week. Okay. Between today until June 13. So the first, when you click it, when you open it, answer the initial question first. And then after that, next week, or not, the next day, or next two days, you, you click again, you see whether some of your classmates already uh, do the discussion board then you can give comment to their uh, answer to their posting or if some of your classmates give comment on your posting you can reply on that comment okay? so you have to do it within this week okay? before june 13 after discussion board one done it will be gone eh? june 13 11 pm the discussion board will be gone eh? if you did not do it then you will get zero for discussion board one after discussion board one gone then the discussion board two will be available until june 20 eh? until june 20 so this is the discussion board okay the availability and also the due date Look at these quizzes. Eh? So quiz one only. Remember, this is only available between June 1st until June 6th. So you have to take it within that week. Uh, it will not available before that. It will not available after that. Okay. So it will not have. Uh, it will not available before June 1st. It will not available after June 6th. So you have to do it within this week. Eh? So if you forget, if you miss it, then you will get zero. No make up for quiz. Okay, after quiz one done, then quiz two will be available on the next week and etc. Okay, for exam uh, and test. Okay? So the first week login already available. It will be due on June 3rd on Thursday. Okay? It is available now. Do it before June 3rd. If you miss, then you will get zero. This login test is an uh, extra point. Eh? And then pre-test, number one, eh? pre-test. Eh? It will be available during this week only, June 7 until June 13. Eh? It will not available before June 7. It will not available after June 13. So you have to take it within this week. The pre-test is also bonus. It will test you from chapter 1 until chapter uh, 25. Okay, there are 20 chapters over there. Right? Chapter 1, 3, 17 until 25. So make sure you know which chapters will be used in this class. Uh, initially, there are 27 chapters in the textbook. But in this class, we will not use all the 27 chapters only. 20 chapters that will be learned in this class so make sure you know which chapters will be included in this class and this is the one that will be used for pre-test you don't really have to study for pre-test because this pre-test is really 
uh, the idea to know how much you know about the medical microbiology before taking that class okay because it will be compared later with the post test okay the post test which is the final exam over here is considered as a post test to compare with the pretest the pretest is a bonus point but the post test is actually 200 points so the post test yeah you really have to study and you already get the lecture for this post test okay exam one uh, it will be over chapter 1 3 and 17 so you on the second page of this weekly schedule you should be able to see the information about quiz one for example quiz one over chapter one quiz two over chapter four okay uh, pretest over this chapter over here is listed over here eh? and then exam one is over chapter one three seventeen exam two over chapter four five six twenty four and twenty five so make sure you know okay you read this information over here okay uh, what is the exams gonna be and uh, what chapters will be included on that specific exam again the exam only available during this week 7 to 13 exam 1 will not be available before June 7 it will not available after June 13 eh? the same thing with exam 2 lab exam 1 etc look over here yeah, there is a midterm break. If it is this class is a spring semester or fall semester, then this one will be fall break or spring break, which is you actually have one week break. But if this class is summer class, okay, you actually do not have any break. But I just put this line over here, okay, to uh, border okay the module one and module two so module one you have to finish it in the first four weeks over here again if you miss a lot of assignment lab experiment or or quiz exam etc in module one and the first four week it is very likely you will be fail in this class okay so make sure you perform well on module one which is on the first uh, half semester or on the first half term of this class and then after that break okay after that uh, first or half semester or half um, term then will become the second term or the second part of the semester uh, this one's gonna be uh, for module two. Then the assignment is actually continue. Okay, so if in the module one you finish until assignment eight, then on the next module will be start with assignment nine until assignment twenty. And again, this assignment all of them will be available after the break until before the final week exam. You have to finish them before this and again you can finish them long before their due date okay if you have free time to do assignment and then do assignment as much as possible the same thing with the lab experiment it will continue from 11 until 20. again you have time about three weeks uh, to finish this assignment if you can finish it in one week that's okay too it's not that difficult it's not that uh, taking a lot of time you can finish maybe all assignment even in one day if you want it okay then discussion board also will be continue after two eh? it's gonna be a discussion board three four and five again at least four posting needed for each discussion board to get maximum 25 point quiz the same thing will be continue yeah quiz five Seven, uh, six and seven now just for information quiz seven uh, and six are bonus so you will get bonus point maximum 10 bonus for each quiz six 
or N quiz 7. And the exam will be also continue, exam 3, exam 4, and lab exam 2, and also the final one will be here, the final exam. So each exam, okay, uh, and lab exam, the score is 100 point each. But for the final exam, the score is 200 point. Okay, so it has more point for the final exam or for the post test. And it is only available for four days. Yeah? It's not available uh, for the whole week, only four days, which is from Monday until Thursday. Okay, so Monday until Thursday of the final week because I have to grade it and then I have to put your grade uh, uh, several day uh, one day or two days after that so you if you have to you have to finish it on thursday then you will be able to have your final grade on friday so your final grade will be put on your transcripts on friday after you take the final exam so therefore the final exam due will be on thursday so that's for the weekly schedule, which is, again, is really important for you to print this out. Make sure you print this out and you have it handy. So make sure you follow the due date over here. Do not miss it. This is your responsibility to follow this schedule strictly. I will not give any excuse okay, for missing of this assignment exam discussion board and etc remember yeah if you take the first week login test you actually promise okay, if you answer that question on that first login test there is actually promise that you understand the lecture you understand the syllabus you understand the weekly schedule and you do understand that there is no makeup for uh, each of these assignment or uh, test, quiz, and etc. Okay, so make sure you have this weekly schedule print out and make sure you have it handy, follow it strictly. Okay, so that's the uh, weekly schedule. And basically, that's all that you know, uh, things that you need to know uh, to you know, uh, navigate in this Blackboard class. There is another button over here. It's called the calendar. You can click it if you want it. This is telling you when is the due date. But if you already have the weekly schedule print out, then this calendar, you know, is, you don't really have to click this calendar. Okay, because you have to find the date and etc. You have to, you know, browse this and etc. So it is better just have the print out weekly schedule and make sure you understand it when is the due date for each task. I think that's enough for this uh, introduction on how to navigate uh, in this class in black blo uh, Blackboard. Okay. Uh, I would like to say welcome to this class and then uh, please uh, have fun <laughs> because there are some experiment that actually really fun things to do uh, and then you know discussion board can be also a good thing or fun thing to share your uh, information, your knowledge with your classmates. I hope everybody will get success in this class and I really want everybody get A in this class. Okay, but however, okay, make sure your grade is what you earn. So I do not really give you your grade. You have to earn your grade. So never miss any test, never miss any assignment like experiment, quizzes, discussion board, etc. If you do not miss this, if you do all of this, I believe you will get a very good grade in this class. You will be very successful in this class. Again, good luck and 
see you maybe uh, during the uh, video lecture okay so i put video lecture that help you to understand the material sometimes if you just only read the textbook sometimes it's not that easy to understand therefore i put the lecture video okay so make sure you also watch the lecture video to get more understanding on the material okay goodbye now